Now this is a model. They give a statement. From a statement you have to prove this. Show that or prove that. So what you have to prove. So this is required to prove. RTP means required to prove. To prove. We have to prove. This I write separately. That the 18th term is equal to 0. This is what you must prove. Remember 18th term means N18. You must prove that A plus 17D equal to 0. This is what you must prove. Now we will go to the statement. So given statement. Given statement. So it says 7 times the 7th term. Times means I said a bracket. 7th term means T7 of an AP is equal to it's very clear is equal to 11 times means 11 bracket 11th term 11th term you can put as T11 T11 so again I repeat the given statement the statement says 7 times the 7th term 7 times the 7 terms means 7 times means bracket T7 times means into is equal to 11 times means 11 bracket T11. We have to prove this. I have given it separately. So from the given statement, when a statement is given, you must use it to, to prove this. Now look here. 7 into T7 is nothing but A plus 6D. Remember N is called 7. So you can use in the formula Tn equal to A plus N minus 1 into D. You can just directly. Now in the fourth session we are doing directly equal to 11 into T11 is called as A plus 10D. Okay, now we multiply. You get 7A plus what you get? 42D equal to 11A. 11A plus 110D. Now what you do is you take all that side. So you get First you get 11a, this will go that side as minus 7a. Then you write 110d. This also you take that side, everything goes that side means minus 42d equal to 0. So again repeat, take all that side. So 11a will come first, next will come minus because going that side. 110d will come first and get minus 42. 11a minus 7a is called as 4a. 110 minus 42 is 10 minus 2 is 8. 10 minus 4 is 68D equal to 0. Divide by 4. When you divide by 4, you get A. Plus, when you divide by 4, you get 17D equal to 0. That is what you must prove. So you can write, hence proved. It's very simple sum. From the given statement, you must prove this. So what is to be proved, you write separately. And from the statement, if you derive, you get the answer. Hope you understood. Again, a statement, given statement will be given. You have to show that and prove that. So first, you take that show that. The show that says, 13th term is 0. 13th term means, T13 is means is equal to 0. 13th term means, remember, n equal to 13. When you type directly, you get A plus 12D equal to 0. This is what you must show that or prove that from the given statement. This is what you must prove actually. In all the sums in session 4, remember, straight away we are writing one number less. Actually, this comes from the formula, remember, Tn equal to A plus N minus 1 into D. So try to do the sessions one by one and try to work out. Then it will look easy. Don't go directly to a particular session. It will become very hard. Now the given statement. The given statement. We'll take it. 5 times the fifth term. 5 times means 5. I said times means bracket into. The into is called by bracket. Fifth term means T5 of an AP is equal to is equal to 8 times its 8th term this is what actually given from this you must prove this 
okay so again I repeat 5 times means 5 bracket 5 into state of it you must write t5 means n is nothing but 5 so when n is 5 you get a plus 4d 8 times the 8 terms 8 into a plus 7d and remember here n is 8 this is what given so when you multiply you get 5a plus 20d equal to 8a 8 sevens are 56d 8a is a bigger number so bigger number you take that side so first you write 8a then you take this one it will become minus 5a then you write this 56d and this also you take that side you get minus 20d equal to 0 so since 8 is a bigger number and 5 is a lesser number similarly 56 is a bigger number and 20 is a lesser number take that side otherwise unnecessary you get minus you have to multiply in minus and all this is quite easy just write the 8 and take the 5 at that side so you get 8a minus 5a write the 56 all goes that side you get equal to 0 remember 8a minus 5a is nothing but 3a 56d minus 26d is actually 36d equal to 0 you divide by 3 when you divide 3a by 3 you get a when you divide 36 by 3 remember 36 by 3 will give you 12 a plus 12d equal to 0 so what we have to prove is from the given a plus 12d is 0 hence proved so this is a very simple sum where show that everything from a given statement we have to prove so what you have to prove keep separately and from the given statement you derive it it's proved we'll do some more models again one more sum in, in this model from a statement you have to prove or show that now what to prove we have to prove required to prove rtp means required to prove required to prove we have to prove 72nd term means t72 is means is equal to twice means two times 34th term means t34 first you must take what has to be proved required to prove 72nd term means t72 this means is equal to twice means 2 into 34 term 72 term means n is nothing but 72 in all the session 4 we are writing directly and so from session 1 session 2 you must do one by one you can practice you can tell your neighbors and friends who know to practice this one by one you can understand all the models easily you can practice even extra sums so when you put 72 you get actually a plus 71 d you reduce one number similarly 2 into t 34 means n is nothing but 34 you get a plus 33 d now this you keep as it is and this you multiply 2a plus 66 d now take the a that side because 2a is bigger or else you get a minus if you bring this side minus side so write the 2a first this a will go that it will become minus a then write the 66 d as it is and take the 71 that side it will become minus 71 d is 0 so 2a minus a is a 66 minus 71 is actually minus 5 d equal to 0 so what you have to prove is a minus 5 d equal to 0 from the given statement now we will go to the given statement so what you have to prove we have written here this has to be proved to prove required to prove now we will go to given statement given the given statement says 24th term 24th term means t24 is means is equal to twice means 2 into bracket multiplication 10th term means t10 it's very easy 24th term means t24 is means is equal to twice means 2 bracket t10 and n is 24 straight away you can write as 24 term as a plus 23 d 
2 times t10 is nothing but a plus 9d. When you put n equal to 10 in the formula, tn equal to a plus n minus 1 into d, you get directly. All in the session 4, we are doing directly this one. So a plus 23d, if you multiply is it, 2a plus 18d. Now take all that side, 2a is bigger, don't bring this side. 2a, this a go that side, 2a minus a plus 18d, this will go that side. It become minus 23d. When all goes to one side, you get the answer equal to 0. 2a minus a is nothing but a. 18d minus 23d is nothing but a minus 5d equal to 0. That is what you must get here. You write hence proved. So, these kind of sum says from a given statement you have to show that or prove that particular thing. Hope you understood this. Again, one more sum. From a given statement, you must prove or show that. It's given clearly, show that. 72nd term means T72. This is actually prove that or show that. This you have to prove or show. 72nd term means T72. This means is equal to 4 times means 4 bracket. 15th term means T15. So 72nd term directly you can put in all the session 4 you are putting directly a plus 71d is equal to 4 into t15 n equal to 15 directly we are substituting we get a plus 14d now a plus 71d is equal to 4 into a is 4a 4 14 so 56d Take the a that side. Don't bring the 4a this side. You get a minus. So you get 4a minus a. Then this goes this side. Plus 56d minus 71d equal to 0. 4a minus a is 3a. Minus is bigger. 11 minus 6 is 5. Then 6 minus 5 is 1. d equal to 0. You divide by 3. When you divide by 3, you get a minus 5d equal to 0. This only you must prove or show. Now we go to the given statement. From the given statement, you must prove this. You put the given statement. The given statement is 24th term is t24. This means is equal to 2 times twice is 10th term, t10. Now, T24 is nothing but A plus 23D. 2 into T10 is nothing but A plus 9D. A plus 9D. Now, A plus 23D equal to 2A plus 18D. Take all that side. 2A minus A plus 18D minus 23D equal to 0. 2a minus a is a minus 5d equal to 0. So that is what we have proved. Hence proved, right? Hence proved.